Kratos has to be surely every schoolboy's dream, doesn't it? Certainly if you're into cars and you're at school, then this shape, this car, just does strange things to your brain. I mean, it is, and it was at the time, such an extraordinary thing to look at. There had never, ever been a shape like this before. And it was designed by Bertone, of course. But it was really rallying that, that put the Stratos in everyone's mind. And you just have to look at the design of this thing, the design of this replica, which is made by Lister Bell. And I don't know, it just, it just sends you off into one of these lovely places. I love the way this car looks. It's absolutely authentic to the way the real ones look. And they're a fairly new company, and they've only sold about 10 or 12. But, oh man, I mean, just look at the detail, look at the wheels, look at the body, look at the way the wheels fill the wheel arches. It really does look the nuts, this car. But the really big surprise is that it also drives beautifully. The running gear in this one is from an Alpha 166. It's their chassis, their brakes, but you need an Alpha 166 donor car, so you get the engine from the 166, which has about 220 horsepower. You get the gearbox from the 166 and a few other bits. So what you're talking about to build one of these things is about 30,000 pounds. Or you could get Lister Bell to build you one, in which case you'd be looking at about 40,000 pounds. You could buy this car for 40,000 pounds. Now, imagine what this thing would look like going down the local high street. <laughs> you'd get more looks, more stares of amazement driving this than you would a Ferrari Enzo, I reckon. It is, it's that beautiful to look at, that amazing to look at. So, what's it like to drive? Understeer. Okay, I'm gonna have to slow down because it's too noisy. It sounds too good. There's a little whiff of understeer, but not much. Essentially, the nose goes exactly where you want it to go. But the thing about the Stratos is that it's got such a short wheelbase, and the engine, just as in the real thing, is right there, right behind you. And if you back off, on the way into a corner, you do become acutely aware <laughs> that the engine wants to try and overtake you. And once it's overtaken you once, it'll try and overtake you again and again and again. But you know what? If you, you, you really got to drive this thing like an old Porsche 911, i.e. slow in, fast out, and don't do anything silly with the throttle in the middle of the corner, otherwise you're in serious trouble. But if you drive it like that, it drives beautifully, this car. It sounds great too, and it stops well. Oh, I really, really want one of these cars. And the scary thing is that it's not too horrendously expensive. This car does not feel in any way homemade. It is really nicely made. The driving position is great. Miles better than in a normal Stratos. The gearbox is great. I love the panoramic view out. I love everything about this car. I really do. I think this car is absolutely fantastic. balanced as well. Wow. 
I'm absolutely blown away by how good this car is. I think, I think if anything, it drives even better than it looks, which is ridiculous because for me personally, the Lancia Stratos is one of, if not the best looking cars in the universe. Sheesh, I think I'm gonna to have to go and rob a bank in order to get 40 grand to get them to build me one of these. I love this car.